looking for this tree longer than anybody. I've tracked the legend to every village, every island. Nothing. You're searching for something that can't be found. But you've never had the key. Okay, because this is a movie with cheesy jokes and cheesy puns, I'm gonna ask a really cheesy question to get things started. Love it. There's a cockatoo in this movie. Hello. <laughs> yeah? <They're, laughs> and, or three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it, boom, here we go. That was good! Oh, that was good. Oh, bad. that's the first joke you've done well. Really? <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah, that was good. Cock or three? Who would have known? That that's was good. That's the best pun ever. That's good. Fantastic. Well, I'm talking about Rosita, that particular cockatoo from Frank the show. owes me money. Frank owes, Frank me, owes money. me money. Mm -hmm. So the cockatoo repeats the phrase that the cockatoo hears the most, which is yeah. Frank owes me money. <laughs> if you each had a cockatoo on your shoulder for a day, what phrase do you think we would hear the most coming out of you? What, what do you think uh, uh, Rosita would repeat? <laughs> I need a God, I'm shape. sexy. <laughs> <laughs> what would you say? Um, don't. <laughs> what would mine say? I need to pee. Oh, I hear so myself <laughs> say that all the time. Yes. I need to pee. Yes, right? it's an announcement. It's always. And it's very loud. I need to pee. Is that all right? I need to pee. Yeah. I hear myself saying that. Like, <laughs> the Jack, what would you all say? Come on, I see you stewing. Those the blue eyes are like. Early bird gets the gains. Gets the gains. Gets the gains. Six every day. Not only is that really? good. Really? Yeah. You say that every day? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Can you not tell from his physique? Yes. Yes. Where do I top that? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I think the, the opposite is like, I want to take a nap. I want to take a nap. <laughs> yes. I want to take a nap. Yeah. Okay. I'm a big nap around. Around. Thank you, Edgar. For God's sake. Give okay, me a back. little bit more corny. I decided to be more, oh, even more corny. God. You are known for your one eyebrow raise. I want to know if the rest of the cast can do a one eyebrow raise. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's like, that was good. Can <laughs> 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 you imagine it just doesn't yeah. move? I'm like, am I raising my eyebrows? I can do both. I don't know. Is that one? That's good. That was great. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, Jack. Jack. Oh, oh, wow. wow. Look at that wow. sexy eyebrow. Very. That was very nice. Wow. Yeah, but it's I still going. You now have a biting of the lip. Is that the new one eyebrow? That's the oh, one. No. Definitely, absolutely. Please, God, no. People's lip. No, and it's, <laughs> do not go into a wide man splay as you do it. <laughs> Your legs splayed <laughs> as you did it. Oh, oh my God. God. Just pop that cockatoo away. <laughs> cockatoo oh away. Cockatoo. So I know that you all cool. went to Dwayne's gym. It was very rarefied air that you were in because not very many people have been invited the into the gym. Very true. No one gets invited. How did that To the Iron happen? Paradise. I invited she invited myself. herself. Okay. Is that what happened? Okay. Invited and then myself. Jack invited himself too. Plus one. Plus one. <laughs> I wasn't around. He Edgar wasn't was around. at. Yeah. Yes. He was right. still traveling in at that time. Exactly. But Jack um, is quite focused on his glutes, and okay. so he was impressed with how many glute machines there were. Yeah. In there. I really just focus on the glutes. I've let everything else. <laughs> completely full by that's the wayside, why he's just sitting. focus on the glutes. That's actually why he's sitting so high, is Yeah, it? I can't sit in the front, because if I tense my glutes, you wouldn't be able to see the rest of the cast. Yeah. <laughs> but for, for those of us that Very will true. never be invited in, what is it like? It's actually really serene and yeah. beautiful is it? and oh. vast and very clean. And he always knew when I'd been in there because I'm not. Very just shit left everywhere. Yeah. Baby <laughs> weights just, left everywhere. And like, like little, nothing wiped down. Nothing sweat everywhere. Chalk and sweat. And and he was like, "Do you <clears throat> clean up? Like, yeah. what's no. your issue?" Yeah. So she. But the truth is, she did. She invited herself, and she said, "Hey, can I come over and work out at the gym?" Uh, and and you were I was like, "Sure." <laughs> Do you know Absolutely. my favorite thing is that he has this kind of motivation blackboard that he writes stuff on, and I would leave him the most appalling messages for him to walk most into. Most inappropriate. And draw the most inappropriate things. Well, on I have board. to stare at it and go, "What, what is, that? is that?" Like cockatoos. And then, uh, yeah. Like a three. Like and a cockatoo. Like, three. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> a cockatoo three, and it's like, and it was great. She drew this hairy donut, and I was like, "What <laughs> is that?" Uh, I'll tell her. What's a hairy donut? I mean, you Jack will show you. Yeah, later. <laughs> you explain. I don't even know you what Harry Donut is. It's in between the glutes. <laughs> <laughs> it's between the glutes. Look, um, oh, okay. I'm going to ask you all to play Imagineer for a second. We know that this is a famous Disney ride it turned into a movie. I want you all to choose something you've done in your careers, either a series or a film, that you think would make a cool ride at Disney. 
I feel Edge of Tomorrow would make a very cool Ooh. ride. Ooh. With the mimics, and you have to avoid the mimics, and maybe you're on like a roller coaster, and it feels like you're going to get your sure. head spliced off with a mimic, but you're not. And then Tom Cruise is there. Personal friend. Yeah. <laughs> Personal friend. To kind of greet you right. as you get off the ride, oh, but I in like person. That. That's good. I like it. Yeah. In person. Tom, Tom will be there in person. You heard it here. <laughs> what about you guys? Edgar? Wow. Um, actually, it was. Uh, Point Break. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, Point Break is good. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, Point Break. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Cool. Point Break. I mean, and, and, um, and with all the. You know, the, the, the snowboarding, the surfing, you know, mm -hmm. the, the, the proximity flight, that would be incredible to yeah, do. Yeah, that's cool. Have that there. Um, and, um, and yeah. What are you stewing on? What would yeah. you do? Um, well, maybe Frozen. Obviously, I was in Frozen, so. No. Do you tell us about you that. In Frozen. Yeah, but I could be part of that ride. I could just be there not speaking. I, I <laughs> 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 you can be Frozen. Just sort of there. You can literally just be Frozen. I'll just yeah. be Frozen there, dressed yeah. as a big fat troll, but not saying anything. Great. <laughs> Either that or maybe travels with my father, which could be like Jungle Cruise, except you're trapped on the boat with a very rude geriatric Englishman. <laughs> <laughs> right. What about you? Me? Yeah. Movies I've done? Manchurian Candidate, I think. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you were in that. No? Movie. That wasn't no. me? No. Harry Potter? Yeah, Harry you were Potter, great I think. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Potter. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Harry Potter. Harry Bottom. <laughs> you, gotta think. you need to make that one thing. Yeah. That's a hairy Gosh. donut. Though. Yes, that's a hairy donut. Got it. Now I understand. Message. So the sets in this film are <laughs> unbelievable. I know that there was a set actually built in Kauai, mm -hmm. pretty close to your home. There for was. This. Yep. Um, first of all, just sort of like the scope of walking into those sets, and then after that, I have an idea mm. for you, Dwayne. Okay. But just to talk about a little bit well, about the, the scope the, of it all. The, sure, the scope and the scale of these sets were spectacular. Um, we wanted to uh, create as much practicality as we possibly could. We, were, we shot in Kauai, the majority of our movie. Um, then we moved our entire production to sound stages in Georgia. And um, we were on thousands and thousands of acres where they, we, our designers, just built these spectacular mm. uh, buildings and sets. The, the beginning of Jungle Cruise is not CGI. That is real right. sets um, down on the Amazon and there was a beautiful reservoir down there. So we really wanted to make sure that the, that the, that the sets and the scale of our movie uh, reflected uh, that of the, of the ride. Um, and so here's my idea. Okay. You are like the next Walt Disney. You what? already have the set there. You love Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Next theme park in Hawaii. Ooh, Build it around that's a that. Great idea. Do we like it? We you like could have that a idea. fountain with Terramana tequila. <laughs> As you walk in, you could have cheap it's meals served everywhere use. around the yeah. park. What yeah. do we think about this wow, idea? That's a great idea. Do I get a cut? You do. Well, <laughs> we'll talk off camera. Okay. Do we like this idea? That's a great idea. Would that you idea. go? I'll run the donut stool. Yep. <laughs> I love it. That's a great idea. Uh, I want to talk about the kiss in this movie. And that White is what, hot, right? It was really hot. White hot. It was super Sloppy. hot. <laughs> <laughs> it got a big applause. No, I Jack heard that. hated it. He said it was like watching his parents kiss by the end. He was so mortified. I loved it. it was a very, Thanks, um, Edgar. Because you, on the big screen, it was amazing. And that yeah, was but incredible. In the not in person. In the world, oh, everyone sure. cheered. And you were so invested. And it was beautiful. But yeah. just on set, because uh, we'd grown so close. And I then know. to see you suddenly smooch, I was a bit like... You were like, no. no. <laughs> but Jack, I heard you were actually making sound effects when they were on set going like, ooh, ah. He was. He was under his breath going, ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get a bit of that Johnson. Yeah. He would say <laughs> yeah. that. He goes, get a bit of that Johnson. <laughs> it's just terrible. terrible. Some of it takes place underwater. How, how romantic is it kissing underwater? It looks beautiful, but is it in I actuality? That scene was so beautiful. I thought it was well done. Yeah. It was so beautiful watching it on the day. You can't see much, can't I'll see. be okay. honest. You cannot see anything. It's very murky. Our eyes were like lobster red by the end of shooting. <laughs> we shot it for like two days, the whole tank sequence. Um, it, it was beautiful to see it back like done because uh, when you are underwater, you cannot see anything. And you, it was a bit scary at first because you are kind of, you really are trapped in this yeah. thing. Wow. It was open on top, and okay. so, but I couldn't see anything. So you'd hold your breath for as long as you could 
and they'd so you go down with your goggles on and they'd point out what you had to see and you were like, okay, I think I have it. You take one more gasp on your respirator thing and then you take it off and suddenly you can't see anything and you're kind of blindly trying to find the lever and then, and then when you're running out of breath, I would just kind of put my arms up and people would reach down and just pull you out because I couldn't see my way out. So most romantic, most romantic kiss ever. Most romantic. Kiss. Testament to how yeah. good they are as actors as well. <laughs> that whole sequence had so much in it, and there was so much like nuance and there was humour. It was romantic. And I did love the bit where I pull your head and smash your head against yeah, the wall. It was, it was so fantastic. funny. It was I love so that bit. So good. It was right. So funny. So when I when and when you first go, in, you yeah, when go you after get, a kiss, and I go no. no. <laughs> <laughs> like trust me, I'm giving you air. How was it on your end? Horrible. <laughs> no, 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 no. What? D in the water. Is that what you mean? No, the um, kids. She wants the kids. The water. She was, we were talking the about the water. Well, water. well, come on, she's a girl. She wants to it, yeah. Look, it was, it was great. You know, the, those, <laughs> awesome. It was wonderful. What I liked about that was. He had the time was, of his life, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was better. Huh? I was Jason saying. Jason Statham. It was better than me and Statham. <laughs> better kisser? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Oh yeah, like oh, I, yeah. Like, like I kissed oh, Jason. Yeah. When did that happen? Exactly. I was gonna. I was gonna ask. Because I know. Edgar, no. No. And after the outtakes, the outtakes. You haven't seen it yet. But. I'm throwing Kevin in there between the three. Oh. Who's the best? Oh God. Emma. <laughs> Emma, by far. And she's taller than both of them too. So. It's true. <laughs> okay, we'll leave it there. Edgar, yeah. your first Disney movie. Yeah. Seeing yourself in all of that glory on the big screen. I didn't hate this villain. I didn't no, hate him. No, of course not. He's, you, 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 you feel for him. You understand him. I mean, it's, it happens. I mean, things didn't work out, and then he crossed over to the dark side. I mean, haven't we all at some point? You know, I mean, and that, that's... Uh, Become that's, riddled with snakes? Uh, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at some point. So, at some point. Uh, but no, um, I, 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 I loved it. I love I loved the whole experience. And, and, <clears throat> and as I said in other interviews, it's just, it's just very special. I mean, this is, this is the most iconic entertainment universe in history, Disney. And just to be mm. part of it and to, and to you know, to, 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 be, to, to be part of a, of a movie that, be, that, that belongs to a legacy that has, in, 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 in my opinion, and I can speak, I'm sure, on behalf of a lot of people around the world, I mean, our, our taste and our love for cinema has been shaped by Disney in so many ways. Mm -hmm. So it is very special. It is very special so for well me. So well said. Yeah, and I'm sure that for, 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 for many of us here and, um, and, and around the world, it's really special. I, I saw the movie two nights ago, and I, got, and I went on, on Jungle Cruise on the ride for the first time two nights ago. And I love theme parks, and I love to be in Disney. I love to be here. It's, um, since, I, since I was a kid, I mean, the first park that I visited was the one in Orlando, because I come from Venezuela, so more the East Coast. But being here at Disneyland is really special. And to have the premiere here, to be having this conversation here is very iconic. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I will look back in, in 20, 30 years to this moment, and I would be very, very happy. Mm. Very proud. That's well a great said, answer, right? well yeah. said. And you do feel it being here, and I wanted yeah. to ask all of you, I, I know you got to see some cool rooms behind the scenes, scenes that, or, or rooms that people don't normally get to see, so did you all get to experience anything really cool, get brought behind the scenes <coughs> here at Disneyland or at Disney World, and uh, share what, what those things are? With, uh, before we went into the movie, Emily and I had an opportunity to go to um, where the hidden Imagineers all work. And that was, was really an amazing experience because wow. it's, it's in that building. And we saw Those the first map really, of Disneyland. Like we yeah, saw we the saw very, the very first, first like, layout and it was yes. so, it was huge. And it's behind the vault. Yeah, it's they have incredible. it protected. Wow. And yeah. It was really incredible just to see the craftsmanship and the care. Yeah. And the magic, it's like they want to kidnap you with magic and imagination and that's all they do all day is conjure up extraordinary Ideas. ways to make people yeah. feel wow. joyful. It's just, it was beautiful. And Edgar, as you, as you were talking about, you know, just how special this experience is, like it's just, it's once in a career if you get yeah. lucky, you know, that, to have something like this. And when you're here, and, and especially I feel like when when Disney does it right, mm. they, they yes. do. it is they a yeah. grand it. slam and, yeah. you know, yeah. Thankfully, it feels like we did Jungle Cruise right, and it just where it hits on all those yeah. special, unique, one of a kind Disney elements. Did yeah. you really have Walt's picture in your trailer? I did. As inspiration, filming? I really? have. Yeah, and it's still there. 
Wow. It's a picture of Walt and his head. And me. Head, and <laughs> Emily. <laughs> yes, because she's 87 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Just a huge post view in here. It's a yes. little bit strange, but... Um, <laughs> On the ceiling. Yeah. There you it's are. Just, uh, just in, in, inspiration, I guess. I have, a, I have a really cool picture of Walt um, a few days before the park opened in 1955 in the Jungle Cruise in the boat with his lead engineer and lead Imagineer and engineer. Uh, it's a really, really cool picture, and that was the inspiration every wow. day. Just wow. the term, right? Imagineer. Isn't it incredible? Right. Mm -hmm. Is that great? Mm -hmm. Just to have, just the terminology, right. just to yes. have, I mean, I'm sure that term was created here, Imagineer. Yeah. Yes. To have just that tells you how, how, how remarkable and how iconic everything is, just to have yeah. that, yes. that, that, that word as part of a, yes. you know, of, of, of the English language, Imagineer, it's a right. beautiful thing. I know, Jack, you're a big Disney file. You're a big Disney fan even before this. Did you audition for Lion King? Is that true? Oh, or you really? Too? No, I didn't you go audition audition for Lion, Lion King. King. I did a, 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 my one of my stand-up shows. I ended with a Lion King musical that I put, a one-man Lion King musical that I put on myself. <coughs> wow. Which is probably a copyright infringement, so I shouldn't say that. I've <laughs> 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 changed some of the names of the characters. Um, but yeah, I, um, I've always been obsessed with Disney. I love the Disney movies. Lion King, your favorite? Up. Lion King was my uh, favorite. Wow. wow. Yeah. What'd you love about Lion King? I just think it's it's just got everything. Ha perfect? Hamlet with fur. It's just yes, totally. Yeah, it's great. Villainy and um, first time are so amazing. Right. Yeah. I'm still not really over the Mufasa thing, but oh god, it's coming don't, back to me don't, now. Don't, it's fine. Don't. It's fine. Okay. He's up there. Brother. He's don't. in the stars. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, and, and you know, to what these guys have been saying, like the chance to be able to maybe create a film that's going to resonate with a, a new audience and, mm. and, and be an iconic film for a new generation of Disney fans, like it's not lost on us the significance of that. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And that, you know, was always what we were striving to try and achieve with Jungle Cruise. And I really think the finished product is something that is quite magical. And so hopefully there'll be, you know, kids watching it now and, and in 20 years time still talking about it. That's how it yeah. feels. It yeah. feels like a throwback to the films that we loved growing up. Absolutely. Yes. It feels like a film that I've already watched it three times now and it Have gets better really? and better Thank every single really. time I watch it. I think it's completely iconic instantly. Yeah. Thank you. And I think yeah. that's a testament to all of you. Obviously your chemistry, not just the two of you together. All of us. But, yeah. Yeah, it's but everybody. all of you. Yeah. So talk a little bit about <clears throat> Like when do you when do you know when do you know? Was I it knew when, you when met? I met him. Like I I think you know we had a dinner about three months before we started. Once I was cast and involved, and the moment I met him, it was like we ping pong back and forth. The rapport was so instantaneous, and I think if you have that naturally with someone, and I knew we were going to have fun together. We laughed that whole time over dinner. We were already giving each other. Yeah. It was just it was great, and then. I think if you have that, it does sort of by osmosis sort of carry into the screen. And I think if you have a natural ease with someone, then you can stretch those scenes around and they become really free spirited and you can improv. And it's the same with Jack, who's just so ready to kind of come in guns blazing and just try anything. And, and we had this very trusting environment where you could throw anything against wow. the wall. And it was fun to see what end up, ended up sticking. <laughs> but it was just, it was easy. And chemistry is so strange. It's such a strange thing. It's, it's very new, difficult yeah. to kind of um, talk about what it is. But I always feel chemistry is like, it's not this person and this person. It's the space between them. And that's chemistry. And the reason it's called chemistry is because there's so many components that come into mm -hmm. whether it's there or not. And I think ultimately we all just had such ease with each other, such trust with each other. And we all have a very similar sense of humor, which is usually in the toilet. Oh. So it's great. <laughs> <laughs> which none of we've all been enjoying, you know, not Good. just within the movie. Disney's but been loving it. <laughs> <laughs> the Disney execs are yes. loving it. <clears throat> so because I'm so confident there's going to be more and more and more of these films, sequels, where would each of you like to see this movie go? Where was your, what is your dream scenario? Where are we showing up next time in the world? I want to go to, like, Asia, Asia or something. Like... Yeah. It feels like it. Yeah, that would be incredible. Or the Thames. Or the Thames. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Mrs. Twickenham. <laughs> Twickenham. DJ yeah. loved London. That's my spot. Loved our home Get country, back. didn't Down he? Down the Thames. <laughs> Film some of the jungle scenes in Richmond Park. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. Perfect. I'm just putting that Edgar. out there into the world. Um, I, I, I mean, there's so, there's so many amazing rivers and uh, around the, around the, around the world. Uh, um, of course, you started with the one that is closest to my heart, which is the Amazon mm. River. 
because um, I come from an Amazonian country, from Venezuela, um, and 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 we're all very happy because it, it it was beautiful. It's gorgeous. I had, I I I I hadn't been um, in awe watching a movie in a very long time, and I cannot mm -hmm. believe. Yeah, because I, I I can really pull myself out of the position as an actor and I and really watch the movie and I was in awe. That scene with the I don't know if I can we? Yeah. Yeah. The, when I saw what you guys did in Hawaii, the 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 the, the it, you guys in your boat, the submarine and then yeah. Yeah. what happens yeah, there yeah, in yeah. that bay, so cool. I was like what? Yeah. <laughs> I was watching because I wasn't there. I yes, I, I wasn't on right. that location. I was like what what is going on? I mean like all the elements and most of that was mechanical. It was yeah, not CGI, it was, it was mechanical, it was made, yeah. you know, because that is the thing. One of the things that I found so incredible about this film, and I get that question asked a lot because of, you know, all the CGI involved in my character, I never saw the snakes, but I was on those sets, and every time we fought and every and whatever yeah. our scenes were, we were this was not that movie that we were surrounded by green screen yeah. and, 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 and acting opposite a tennis ball. Mm -hmm. No, we were there were people there, and we were doing it. Those those sets were built. Yeah. So the production design on this movie is incredible. It's like yeah. Yeah. I love cinema, and this is the I mean the magic of cinema is so palpable in this movie that is incredible. It is yes. amazing mm -hmm. what you guys yes. did in in, in, in Kauai was. Unbelievable, yeah, and, um, very cool. and 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 of course, it would be amazing to take that magic around the world to all the you know the most iconic wow. you know rivers you know uh, around around the world, which also will the Nile could be the amazing. The Nile could be amazing. Yeah, the Nile wow. could be amazing wow. too. Dwayne, yeah. I'll let you uh, finish, and then also. Was this film, I mean, if you want to answer, where would you like to see it go? And was this, because you were a producer on this film, seeing it come to fruition, mm. was it like a dream come true? This is Disney, it's all about dreams. This 100% was like a dream come true. The, the movie was a dream come The finished product, yes, and finally after seeing it, you know, you, you hope you make something good, you surround yourself with the best people in the business, the best crew, storytellers, and you cross your fingers, you put in the work. So we did deliver uh, a great movie, um, but, I, and I've told this story before. When I first started in Hollywood with The Scorpion King, I went to go see my own movie, which was so surreal. And I saw a, um, a trailer for Pirates at that time with Johnny Depp, who was the biggest movie star in the world. And I was blown away, right? It's like Ed Edgar was saying, when you, you, know, you get lost, uh, you know, when you're yeah. in the cinema and you just get so immersed in this. And I was so blown away by that trailer. And I thought, wow, I would live. I have a half the career that you know that guy has maybe one day I can be in a movie like this that's based off an iconic Disney ride so many years later here we are I have the best cast in the world and we made a great movie based off an iconic Disney ride and so it's been a dream come true oh my gosh illusion torpedo oh my God.